With vineyards dating back to the 1800s, Carmel Valley is a rugged, rustic region west of Monterey and Pebble Beach. Carmel Valley received its designation as an AVA in 1983 and encompasses more than 19,000 acres, with 300 acres of wine grapes under cultivation. The vineyards are predominantly within Carmel Valley and Kashawa Valley. Kashawa Valley's unique mountainous setting sits high above the fog line along the coast and exposes the grapes to a warmer overall climate. Average summer temperatures can't reach into the 100s with cool evenings dropping into the low 30s and 40s. This dramatic swing in temperature extends the ripening time and growing season, allowing the grapes a slow maturation process for eventual complexity in the fruit and the wine. The vineyards in the Carmel Valley AVA are planted mostly on mountainous terrain with the highly prized San Andreas Fine Sandy Loam and the Arroyo Seco gravelly sandy loam soils being predominant. This type of soil provides ideal drainage and allows for optimal airflow through the root system. It requires minimal amounts of supplemental irrigation by the grower and results in healthy, vibrant grapes. The Carmel Valley's terrain and climate is ideal for creating rich, full-bodied wines. The Bordeaux varietals are favorites here, with Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot comprising more than 70% of the grapes grown in the district. In addition, new vineyards in the Carmel Valley are utilizing the numerous microclimates within the AVA to plant Burgundian varietals. This is an absolutely beautiful area, and we're very close to the coast. We're only about, oh, say 15 miles as the crow flies from Carmel, and only about 10 miles from Big Sur, but we're in a little isolated valley in the upper Carmel Valley region. It's special because it has a very specific microclimate, uh, which is different than anywhere else in Monterey County, and it enables the grape grower and the winemaker to grow some specific varietals. Because of our proximity to the coast, um, our growing season is very diverse. We have a daily temperature variation, for instance, of about 50 to 70 degrees a day during the growing season. The nights are regularly in the high 30s, early 40s, and the days in the 90 to 100 level. Now, due to that, we have fairly short growing days, and as a result, our, the length of our growing season is quite long. So we don't normally harvest until into October and into November even. When the buds do come out, we actually have a long growing season. We're about a month behind uh, other areas of, 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 of California, and even areas that are north of us that are harvesting, we're usually a month behind, and that allows for a longer growing season. They develop not only a good ripeness, but a wonderful maturity. There's a very big difference between ripeness and maturity. Maturity happens when all of the elements come together, and uh, that is the acids, the pH, the ripeness, the sugar levels, and all of the flavors that you're looking for. One of the things that is interesting about our soil is that we are mountain grown. We're at about 14, 1500 feet, and it, at that level, you're not dealing with the same type of nutrients in the soil. Uh, as you would in a, in a river basin, an alluvial plain, where it's just chock full of nutrients. You're looking for soils that have some sort of fertility for, for instance, for our Cabernet Sauvignons and all that, but not too much. Again, a very highly stressed grape sometimes can be a better character grape. Uh, and, but you do want soils that will drain well, that the, the moisture of the winter will not create root rot, and, uh, that, that, but also will hold enough during the growing season so, uh, so that the, the, the water can be taken up from the roots. You also want your roots to go down very far, and these roots really go down quite a ways into the sandstone and into the, the loam of the area. The grapes that we're most known for would be Cabernet, Merlot, and our Chardonnay. We also grow Chenin Blanc, we grow Cabernet Franc, we, call, we grow Malbec, we grow Petit Verdot. Already we have seen, in general, Monterey County getting a lot more recognition in the area, in, in the wine area, and Carmel Valley in particular. Already, we, we, most of our wineries are world-renowned. We sell wine in Europe, we sell wine all over the United States, and we have a great recognition, not only for the uh, name of Carmel and Carmel Valley, but also for the wines that are associated with this great area.